what's going on guys it's your boy smiley and i'm here for our week 10 of the awl and uh i'm gonna show you the opponent's team he has tapu coco halucha araquanid embor ligar lycan rock day ursa ring mega steelix Salamence, Bronzong, Zoroark, and Azelf. Now, looking at this, his team, I uh, I could easily overrun his team. But saying that, he could like easily wall me in a way. But it would be dif more difficult for him to uh wall wall me coming at him than me walling him. But yeah so the team for this this week is i called it lion uh it's a life or weavile icicle crash sword stance knockoff ice shard S same old thing it, it just hits hard uh terrakion rocky mz uh, same set as last week, Rock Polish, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Close Combat, because he doesn't really have much. If I get rid of Gligar, he doesn't have anything for this with with a Rock Polish up, and that's really sad for him. But I'm going to try to make the best of whatever I can out of it. Uh, Gligar. I wanted to bring Gligar this week. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me why. Looking at his team... When I looked at his team, Gliscor seemed like a pretty good uh, Halucha counter, Araquanid counter, like doesn't die with Inboar doing stuff. <coughs> Sorry. It pretty much like walls his team, in my opinion. Uh, he doesn't have like a water other than Araquanid, other than that, like nothing. Everything can learn Hidden Power Ice, but he has mostly physical attackers. Salamence could have Hydro Pump, but I doubt, I highly doubt that, unless he is really out here being creative on my ass. So, here, uh, I'm gonna fix this setup a little bit right now because I really didn't know what to do with it. Before, before recording this, I was trying to figure out what I wanted it to be, but I still couldn't get the shit together. Like, you see, I have... Oh, Aquatel here. When is Aquatel gonna come in handy at all? Like at all. That's the thing about it. So I wanted Toxic, I wanted Roost, I wanted Default just in case the Rackmanate gets up uh a spike or anything. Uh, not not a spike, a right uh spider web web sticky web tripping. Uh and I had Ice Fang here for the Salamence. But something tells me that won't really be a friend of mine just having Ice Fang. I think Knock Off would be the better. But how is this supposed to be? That's why. Yeah. Okay. So scratch the Toxic. Scratch the Toxic. Why bring Toxic? Okay, so I'm going to use Tailwind. <laughs> and Roost Defog. That's cool with me. Roost Defog, and uh, I guess I'm gonna go with uh, Baton Pass. I'm really defensive now, and I don't need a lot of speed, honestly. We can put all this into Spadef, honest. Yeah, we're gonna need speed though, because what if he brings taunt? I don't know, man. This is a. Glyscore does so much, yet it doesn't have enough 
moves to put in place because I want to use Gliscor so badly but I would have to use it as the perfect wall that I know it to be so I'm gonna throw earthquake instead of that and I'm gonna say oh, that's it for me knock off I'm thinking like he only what's his uh Embor Ursaring See cuz I feel like Gliscor will be in and on a Salamence and I could easily ice fang that that's what I'm saying That's why I don't want it. I don't want to deter from what I had in mind I'm not gonna deter what I had in mind. I'm gonna put ice fang back there So I could kill goddamn Salamences and hopefully get a fucking uh Hopefully get a freeze on a bronze on or something, you know. So uh next next we have Mega Garchomp here. Uh Mega Garchomp here just uh doesn't care much about his team. Uh substitute crunch, dragon tail, earthquake. Uh I got Dragon Tail because of the what was the Dragon Tail for? The Gligar. I know that's gonna come in to wall uh, him, and I have it for Bron I have the crunch for Bronzong. I have, and I just want to get behind a sub, and I'm straight. I get it behind a sub, but uh, most of his team, he doesn't have much to switch in for Earthquake. If he goes Gligar, you already know what happens. So I'm not really scared at all. Uh, yeah, this is like adamant, so I'm hitting hard. Uh, next we have Kofag here. I got Nasty Plot, Trick Room, Shadow Ball, Memento. Uh, set up for uh, him. And if I can't do it for him, I that's why I have Nasty Plot and some special attack investment. Uh, if I can't set up and win with Kofag, then I will Trick Room. If I will already probably under be, be under Trick Room. I will Memento into Primarina. And Primarina is Choice Specs. Choice Specs. Hydro Pump, Moonblast, Hidden Power, Rock, Energy Ball. Looked at his team, he said, yeah. He don't really got a great water switching other than a Raquinid. We kill a Raquinid, nothing is taking a Hydro Pump. And I know I'm, I should be very scared to use the move Hydro Pump <laughs> after last game. But, you know, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to chill out. Because Pokemon is Pokemon and everybody gets their things to work. And I'm going to get mine to work. I'm not going to have the same bullshit happen again. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and challenge my opponent. And we'll be right back. 